I recently received a summons. In other words, I'm now charged with committing an offence that on the 4th of June 2019 at Hyde Road, Limerick, I did fail when required by a member of the guards. Her name is Ashling. She's now alleging that at Hyde Road I refused to identify the person who was driving this car concerning an incident. At no stage did I speak to that guard in Hyde Road or any guard concerning the damage that was done to this car. When I bought this car, that damage was done and the guards know that. I was at home one night watching television and I noticed a large amount of Gardaí running towards the front door and a big tow truck outside and she beat the door down. Gardaí, we've a warrant, open up. So I opened up the door and I said, come in if you've a warrant. She said, no, we've a warrant to take the car outside the door. So I said to facilitate you, I'll drive it out onto the road so the pickup truck could take it. I was assured that I would be getting back that car after it was examined, that it was involved in an incident, and I'm not connected to that incident. So I kept emailing for the car to be given back. And eventually I was told this Ashleen guard, we'll call her, would call down and explain how to collect it. So she called down anyway to my house. My house is not Hyde Road. The summons is that she spoke to me in Hyde Road on the 4th of June. It never happened. No guard spoke to me on the 4th of June. It's lies. And my recollection is, I didn't know who was at the door, so when I opened it, I just cut off guard, it was her. She said, you can collect your car. So I was delighted with that. I said, was there anyone hurt? She said, no. She didn't done a Columbo, is what I call it. She walked away and then came back and said, oh, I'm now asking you on the 107 of the Road Traffic Act, who was driving that car and I assured her from my recollection I said I wasn't driving it I've made inquiries as to who was driving it and no one has told me nothing that's exactly what I, my recollection is what I said and what I did and she indicated she knew I wasn't driving it she knew who was driving it I said I bought it on Facebook and when I collected it the damage was done so when I got that car that damage was done they indicated they knew who done the damage she waited five months and took out a summons recently in November alleging that I refused to identify the driver how can I identify a person that done damage to the car when I wasn't near the incident I collected the car when it was damaged I don't know who or what incident it was involved in to this day no one has told me whether it's a hit and run I did ask at one stage was anyone hurt and she said no no clearly indicated I'd not got to do with anything so it took her five months to issue a summons so senior staff directed wait for five months hit him with a false charge that he refused if, if a guard knocks at your door and says who was driving your car and you say I don't know I tried to make inquiries should you be charged 
with failing. I didn't fail. I accounted to the best of my ability, my abilities. I said it wasn't me. I made inquiries. I don't know who was driving it. I bought the car the way it was. This is a big stitch up, but it, this case will prove that this woman guard was directed, set him up. Senior staff and her got together and said, right, no, set him up. This all happened last year. At one stage I even said I bought on Facebook, I had photographs. Dip, no, them photographs are gone. Because it was it was an old phone that, that that I downloaded from Facebook, the photographs of the car before I bought it. This is what you call a typical setup. Your car is free. I collected my car free of charge. It was taken away to be examined, technically examined. They taught me I had nothing got to do with any incident. I can't believe the stupidity of this woman guard to try to go down the road of setting me up. Waited five months to apply for a summons. So we'll see where that one goes. A summons for failing to say who was in the car. Should I don't know who was in the car. I bought the car when it was damaged. 